Hi everyone for July's double shot um, we're going to we're going totally into um, autumn and Halloween mode because pretty much once August hits I am like right there going to that place and all I want to do is listen to music that makes me think of that uh, time of fall and all the beautiful things about autumn and the Sabbath of um, Sewing and also, you know, Halloween is traditionally celebrated in the States. So I'm in that zone. That's where I am. And so for the month of July, the end of July, moving into August, our double shot for the month is Typo Negative's Bloody Kisses album. This is, uh, I'm going to show you this, guys, because this is the special edition that was available on Amazon recently. I'm not sure if it's sold out or not. If you're a Typo Negative fan, the vinyl is this really awesome green and black. It's that edition. Um, it was actually relatively inexpensive. I think I paid 20 or 30 bucks for it. Now I need to try to get it back in here because I don't want anything to happen to this baby. Um, typo negative is amaze balls that's all I can say the deck that accompanies it of course because typo negative was so good at poking fun of themselves and everybody else take the track black number one as an example for all the goth kids who dye their hair black and have to do their roots before they can go out and party the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco and Jimmy Manton seemed to be the perfect match for this album it's kitschy in all the best ways and it really pulls you into that type of vibe and feel. It's fun. It's not something you're. Pro it's not a deck you're probably going to use all the time, but it is a wonderful deck to evoke the spirit of Halloween. And the Bloody Kisses album is basically every goth metal head's dream album. It's irreverent, uh, sarcastic, dreamy, romantic and very, very tongue-in-cheek in the best way possible, as well as getting you in that kind of gloomy Halloween mood. So I'm just showing you images now from the Halloween Oracle. Um, this is one of my favorite images in the deck, and the skull, the skull, I think there are three or four skull cards. Same skull that Jimmy used, but slightly different artwork for it, um, and I enjoy all of them. I'm going to show you everything in case you haven't purchased this Oracle deck yet and are wanting to wait to see. But when I get in that mood, here's the Skull of Flowers. Um, really, nothing is more perfect. And then there's the Skull of Light, which I love that one as well. Uh, nothing is more perfect than Typo Negative's Bloody Kisses album. I believe, if I remember correctly, that this includes the... Um, Additional tracks suspended in dusk, but I may be wrong about that. There is on Spotify, I believe, the top shelf edition of Bloody Kisses does include suspended in dusk, which is a previously or originally unreleased track from the album. Um, but the entire album is really, I would encourage listening to it all the way through at least once and getting the feel for that kind of um, flow and kind of dirty, gothy yummy, all the best things about fall, autumn, energy that Bloody Kisses has. A, a listen all the way through is helpful at least once. And then songs, of course, like Christian Woman, Black Number One, some of their biggest hits, uh, the Little Miss Carol um, version. Uh, but also the cover of Summer Breeze on that album is beautiful. You'll probably enjoy that a lot too if you find that you're liking the album. And um, Bloody Kisses, Death in the Family at the end is also this kind of beautiful, dark, um, actually kind of a poignant end of a love affair song that's, that's surprisingly um, romantic, again, in a space where you may not have thought you would see that after all the kind of tongue-in-cheek sarcasm that started the album. So, and of course, Peter Steele, the big deal himself there. Um, yeah, so much love for this album. So this is Typo Negative's Bloody Kisses and the accompanying deck that's really just made to go with this album is the Halloween Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. 
Um, the guidebook is not the best guidebook that's ever been written, but I think the cards are really, they read for themselves very well. And again, the imagery is perfectly kitschy and is really going to get you in that Halloween mode. I mean, look at the even the backing, it's the backing themselves. The backings themselves, if I can speak correctly, even the backings themselves really just pull that kind of theme in. So, this is uh, July's Double Shot. Uh, love you all. Much love. Many blessings. I'll see you guys in the next video.